it's been nine months since my sinus surgery. And I think, I don't know, it's starting to feel like it could be sinuses. Hi birdies! Hi! You sweet birdies! <laughs> Good morning guys! It's a beautiful day here in North Carolina. Ma day. Mary! Hey, what a beautiful day! Is speech jamming me and she's I also... Yeah, I was trying to say she's getting ready to... She's gonna be sharing some of her patient perspective to a respiratory therapist class and uh, via Zoom, oh. and she's getting ready to hop on the there. What? Just, the chickadee came out of the house, and it's getting food from the bird feeder. It's gonna go back. <gasps> oh. It went that way. So we have little baby chickadees in that bird house down there, and the mama bird is doing lots of trips back and forth, getting food for the babies. We realize it's kind of a bum of a birdhouse because we can't see in it. Could you help me get this figured out to make sure it's signed on correctly? Yes, all right, Mary's gonna get My signed on. My plan is, I know that they want like an overview of cystic fibrosis because of course at this point in the semester, students uh, would be in clinicals and interacting with patients and everything and learning about like CF patients and stuff since this is respiratory therapy. And so I'm going to give them an overview of CF in general, probably tilt it a little bit more toward my experience with CF because that's what I can share. And then a little bit about lung transplant in general, and then a little bit about trichafta because of course that's the big news in CF right now. So. That's my plan, and then along with like the CF stuff, I'm gonna show them the vest and uh, just talk a little bit about daily routine and that sort of thing. So that's my plan. The meeting starts in six minutes. So I will see you guys after. Whoa! Well, that was really great and kind of exhausting. It was fun. I told my story, you can tell that I was fired up, my face is all red, and I think I sweated through my shirt, and um, I need to eat some food. So I'm gonna eat something, and Peter's outside, I'm gonna meet him outside. Whoo! It was really fun sharing my story with that respiratory therapy class, and if you are studying respiratory therapy and you want to um, help the people who need lung help in the future, including CF patients. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes, please. Wow, I am making some veggies. This is a purple sweet potato. And I'm cutting it to be french fries. These are radishes. If you've never had radishes roasted, if I remember correctly, it kind of tastes like a roasted potato, but less starchy. They don't taste spicy like radishes when you bake them, like, you know, roast them. So I'm gonna try that. Um, I haven't had those in a long time. I'm gonna make some sweet potato fries, purple and orange, and yes. I'm noticing when I cut these purple ones, they change color really quickly. I don't understand why, like maybe the oxidizing, it does something, but they used to be really bright purple and now they're kind of, I don't know. Oh well. Still beautiful. We got a purple potato. Amazing. All right, there's our chicken and our sweet potato fries, purple and orange, radishes, and salad. Amazing. Ta -da. I, I washed my hands, but I should show you guys my knees. Your knees? Oh, I guess I washed them in the hose. They oh. were like, at one point I was kneeling down in the mud and I stood up and my legs were brown. Oh my so goodness. Anyways. You have been working hard out there. Yeah. Okay, let's 
Let's see. And pears. Because a week or two ago, we discovered that pears and chicken taste amazing together. I had my vest over here by the table when I was teaching that class. And I thought, hey, why not just sit here at the table? I kind of like it. I am quickly reminded as I just started coughing that my head is on the verge of getting really bad. It's like when I'm not coughing or not um, doing anything. Let's see, like when I walk really quickly across the room, it'll like hurt, but then it'll go away. So I'm trying to just not do anything to bother my headache. It's been like this the last um, maybe four days or something where it'll hurt really bad one day, like take me out, like on the couch type of hurting. And then the next day, it'll be like this, where I'm like, fine. So, I don't know, it started making me think it's been it's been nine months since my sinus surgery. And I think I don't know. It's starting to feel like it could be sinuses because it's like in the afternoons, the last like today and yesterday, in the mid-afternoon, I'll wake up no headache, fine. And then by mid-afternoon it's hurting. And that's pretty much what my sinus headaches did. So I am hoping, I don't know, we'll see what happens. But right now I haven't seen an ENT um, because I was doing so well that me and my, my, like my CF team and I were just kind of like, let's wait it out, let's see. So now it kind of feels like, oh, maybe I should get in with the ENT to establish care with them so that if this continues and I need a sinus surgery. But honestly, that makes me so nervous. Like, um, my sinus surgeon in Boston said, I will write a letter, I will call the next ENT to let them know about your sinuses. She said she has to use pediatric instruments when she's doing my sinus surgery because my sinus cavities are so small. Um, like, you know, all these different sinus cavities. Anyway, I didn't know that until this last sinus surgery. So it just makes me nervous. Like, I hope that the next person will be as understanding and caring. But I, I'm sure they will be. Um, we just gotta get in touch with somebody. But hopefully, maybe this is just a fluke. Maybe this is just a bad week. I don't know. All that being said, I'm gonna go finish my best and try not to cough because. Ow. What, guys? Guess what? We, in the back, did you tell them what I was working on? No. We've got this naturally area. We're calling it the natural area. Did the landscaper guy who came out call it that? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Okay, I think that's where we got that term. So the area that can't grow grass. Um, so we are taking all the wood chips that were in the yard and we're putting them in that area. And tonight I cleared out all the little... Saplings. Saplings. I was gonna say spriglings. Saplings. Um, and all the, and it looks so much, like I haven't even it's spread, awesome. spread it, the mulch is still in like piles out there, but it looks so much better. And, uh, so that felt like a huge, huge accomplishment. It was awesome. Mary made us brownies. Mmm. That's good. Real good. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Do you guys, do you guys hear that? I wonder if it's in the camera. I'm sure they can hear that. Yeah, the night sounds. Night sounds with the fry life. Yeah, I was thinking night sounds with Peter and Mary. Well, happy Friday, you guys. Yeah. It's Saturday when you're watching this. Hope you can find something fun to do today. Mm -hmm. I was really enjoying reading through what you guys, um, what was the, the question was like, like what creative how, thing. How has quarantine led to creativity? Yes, and I loved reading your answers. So keep them coming. 
Mm. And as always. As always, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Harry was just down here. Let's see if he's still down here. Good night, Ollie boy. Harry? Oh, there you are. Can you say good night to everybody? Oh, oh, can you say good night? Meow.